for some fashion of the past, but I'm back with the next installment in an 18th century project. I finally get to start working on the short jacket. Um, I'm kind of excited because once I get the short jacket done, that means I have a full outfit finished, which is really exciting. Um, I have, currently, I have the shift, the under petticoat, the stays, and the outer petticoat finished, and the pockets. Those are all the things I have finished. The things I have left are the short jacket, another pair of short jacket and outer petticoat, um, and a fichu, an apron, a cap, and I may make more little accessories if I have time, but I don't know that I'll have time or money for that. We'll see. But that's the thing that I have left, and I want to make a couple more pockets if I have the time to do that, which I don't know that I will because we have like about a month. So we'll see how this goes, but I definitely need to make the short jacket, the fichu, and a whole nother outfit because I need more than one outfit for like four days or five days, however long this is. So that's the situation. I am now ready to work on the short jacket. I haven't done anything with it yet. I was trying to read the instructions last night, but uh, or the night before or something, but I read like two paragraphs and then I stopped because it was late at night and you know, I didn't really have time to do much or anything the past two days okay so i have some exciting news i just read the instructions for this and there is literally five instructions five different steps and this is like the most easy thing reading this it looks like it's the most easy thing ever and based off of the video i watched of someone making a short jacket which was a different I think different styles in this because it was like cut in different pieces and wasn't just one single piece. Theirs was more involved. This is, this just looks so easy. Basically, here's a rundown of what you're supposed to do. You have to seam the pieces. You have to put, put the extension little triangles on the ends of the main body of the thing. Then you have to sew the sleeves on like flat whatever to the to the yarn size or whatever flat and then you sew down the seam of the sleeve and the seam of the body and then you do the pleats the back pleat the side pleat then you hem everything and uh, extra step if you want to is optional you can do the back neckline binding things like basically there's yeah six steps Okay, so here's the pattern. I will open that up then. This is the original fabric for the original short jacket. Isn't it just gorgeous? I'm so excited. But I'm, if I have enough of this fabric, I'm going to attempt to see if I can make one out of this. And I'm gonna make this one first. Just so, I mean, it looks really easy, so maybe there's not a lot to mess up now that I looked at the instructions. But just in case there is any fit issues or anything that needs to be it is messed up. I will, won't mess it up on the beautiful uh, fabric. I mean, they're both beautiful fabrics, honestly, but it'd be cool if I could have more than two short jackets and I could have like a, a whole closet of them because based on those instructions, it seemed pretty simple. And this is linen, so this will be nice, especially on like a, if it's a warm day. Okay, so I've been cutting out this fabric um, I did make a mistake that I didn't realize, but now I know not to make that mistake with this one. And it's not really that big a deal because I can just sew the mistake. But for the big piece, it's supposed to be cut on the fold of the shoulders. I accidentally didn't do that, so now it's two separate pieces. Then I have to sew the shoulders. <laughs> That's okay. We can do that. Um... I just have to remember not to do that with the other fabric. I've been sewing the shoulder seams of this and I realized that I still need to cut out the neckline for the front because in the pattern it just has the one piece and it has the back neckline which looks like this and then it has the front neckline on top which goes down further 
and I have to somehow transfer all of that to this. So I didn't do that yet, and now I'm just, I'm feeling very discouraged now that I've already messed up with having a shoulder seam. <laughs> I was so excited and now I'm less excited. So I'm gonna work on this tomorrow. New day, new me, I don't know. Gonna have a better time and I have to work on something else for a bit before I go to bed and such. Now that I've cut that nook line, I'm just going to uh, flip this on. I mean, obviously I haven't sewn the sides, but I just wanna make sure that this like will roughly fit me okay because I did have to sew the shoulder seams which they don't there's no seam allowance for that because you're not supposed to sew the shoulder seam that's supposed to be on a fold so I just want to make sure that there's no like bad fitting or anything like that also this neckline is pretty large so I mean it doesn't seem to be falling off my shoulders so maybe it's not too large. So a quick tip, whenever you're cutting out a pattern onto your fabric, read the stuff on the pattern and make sure you do like if there's anything like if it says to cut on a fold or if it says to cut four read your pattern pieces to make sure you're doing everything correctly because I didn't do that so that's why I only cut two of these and that's why I didn't cut my thing on the fold because I'm stupid and I didn't I just thought oh just cut it out I know what I'm doing read your patterns pieces and make sure you are doing it correctly just double check even if you think you know exactly what you're doing unless you've made a garment before and you already know how to do it but if you've never made it and just just read it just do it so problem i don't know what's happening but i sewed this sleeve on this side and it works. It's working. It's good. It fit pretty well. There was just a slight, like, <sighs> the sleeve was just slightly bigger, and it's fine. But this side, <laughs> this shoulder is so much larger than the sleeve. It makes no sense. And I tried. I tried putting it on both sides. <sighs> Wait. I figured it out. This, I'm just realizing now, this is a sloping sleeve. I think this is sloping. So if I put this side, which is probably the top, let's try it. This might help me. Because I tried multiple sides, it wasn't working. Let's see. Oh, yep, I was right. Okay, so it's more of a a trapezoidal sleeve than a completely straight sleeve and that's why it wasn't working because I was doing it wrong okay so I've been sewing the side seam and the sleeve seam so quite frankly this project that I thought was going to be super easy turns out the pleating is a pain in my neck oh my gosh um I'm trying, I'm trying my best to pleat the back of this and I, I cannot get it right every time. So I am sort of slowly pleating this. This is what we're working with. As long as I don't rip this pattern in anger and frustration. This is what we're working with. I don't know, can you see those lines? Maybe that's not difficult, but for some reason, I'm having a hard time. Don't ask. Okay, because I don't understand it myself. Obviously, I wouldn't be having these difficulties. So, my way of making this work is to make a mark where all the dots are.
And then fold this piece where these dots are over here. And line the pattern up where it's supposed to be lined up. Okay, I drew my lines. Like I said, they're kind of hard to see. And now we just gotta pleat those lines into pleats. So we have an inverted pleat in the middle and then two pleats on the sides going towards. That's what the pattern says. Uh, my method is probably gonna be slightly different because I feel like whatever I just decided was the right thing is not um, whatever the pattern says. So this is the inverted pleat. So this goes uh, in like this. Pay to my neck. This goes in. This goes in like a little, little tiny pleat going towards the middle. I'm just gonna go for it. I don't really know what else to do. This is, okay, you know what? I'm gonna try this the way it's chalk written and see how it looks. Cause I best do it the way it's supposed to be. Even if it doesn't feel right at all. Oh dear me. So, <laughs> this is what I'm working with. Also, I'm very confused. Isn't this supposed to be cut down the front? Because isn't this supposed to be pinned to the stays? Hold on a minute. <coughs> this has become much more difficult than I anticipated. Hi everyone, I've been sewing the pleats down, oh it's taking forever, sorry I feel like crap, my nose is just so stuffy and it's just everything, um, I've been sewing the pleats down, it's currently almost midnight and I still haven't finished sewing the pleats down. Hey guys, so I've been not sewing, I've been reading. <laughs> Because I've been doing this challenge where I had to read for an hour every day this week. And I had to do that. And I was eating dinner and just, just kind of hanging out outside. But I finished, I don't know if I showed you this, but I finished sewing the pleats down. At least sewing what I'm going to sew them down. My next step is that I'm actually going to iron this again. Iron the pleats, make sure that I could just iron it again. And then I have to hem all of the edges and it's basically done. But... Um, I might start on that later then, but right now I'm gonna do some other things. I should probably keep sewing red the second, but honestly, I have to do one thing at least that's important, which is to take care of the wash that has infested my life. Also known as my bed. It's been sitting in my wash basket for like a week. And I decided I needed to actually take care of it, so I threw it on my bed. And now I have to literally take care of it. But then I also want to work on my puzzle, because it's been, like, at least a week since I've really touched it, and I really want to work on it some more. I'm just inspired and in the mood to work on my puzzle. And it's annoying, because I... Honestly, I would have been working on my puzzle a lot, but I've been sewing instead, because I have to, so... I decided that I'm going to do my wash and take a small break to work a little bit on my puzzle and then I'll get back to sewing. Okay guys, I have a major update on the short jacket. Um, okay, so the only thing that's left is to do all the finishing work, right? Well, I started hemming the, uh, the top of the one side. I don't know if you can see that. Um, so far, what I've hemmed, like, you can't really see it. But this is taking me eons. And it's really hard to not, like, make the thread show on the other side. And you can still see it, even though it's super, super tiny and 
barely noticeable. If you look up close, it is noticeable. This is taking me forever. So, and if you're wondering, I'm using white thread, so I'm trying not to make it show on the other side, right? So I've decided that I'm going to work on the next short jacket. And I'm going to put a pause on this one because I'm going to buy thread that matches this so that when I do the finishing scenes, I can be a little less careful about it. And if it shows on the outside, it'll be a little bit less noticeable, make it quicker. And also, it'll just mean that I have two short face to finish at the short face. Two short jackets to finish at the same time. And they'll be like, kind of close to being finished instead of just having this one that I've been working on forever and ever and ever and ever. So I'm gonna work on cutting out the short jacket today and maybe start assembling it and then I'll continue tomorrow as much as I can. Hello everyone. Uh, pieces are cut out. I finally cut out all the pieces. I believe I did it correct this time. We have the sleeve pieces which are just the rectangles. We've got the back pieces which are the rectangles. Actually I think I only need one of these but whatever. There's two now. It's fine. And then I did this again. <laughs> Thank goodness there's leftover fabric. I need two more of these triangles but that that's a simple just cut out two more. So I'll do that in a second. And then I did, I cut this on the fold and I left it on the fold. So now it's one single piece, which is great. This is the front and back piece. Have all my pieces cut out. I just need to cut out more of those triangles. Apparently I keep forgetting to do that because I'm stupid like that. But I will also be eventually very soon be purchasing the other things I need for this project. Hello everyone, it's officially Thursday and I have some very bad news for you. Uh, I cut out the fabric and I didn't do a lick of anything else um, with this project. Uh, basically what happened was I decided to finish my puzzle yesterday <laughs> and I uh, may have neglected my sewing and it's currently six something o'clock right now probably near seven o'clock and I haven't touched my sewing one bit today this is a major problem because I really wanted to try and get this done before Easter which is Sunday two-ish days from now and I can't work on this project tomorrow or Saturday because I work all day so that's not happening <laughs> disappointingly enough as that sounds Hopefully, like, I can get this project done, but <laughs> something else, it's something else. I actually purchased the rest of the things that I need, or most of the rest of the things that I need for the rendezvous. Hey guys, so it's Easter tomorrow, and I, because of this project, I don't really have an Easter outfit. I usually either wear or make a dress for Easter every year, or you know, get it. I get a new specific dress for Easter every year. And this year, Easter kind of crept up on me, and I didn't realize that Easter was this week until this week, essentially. Um, and also, I've been sewing not up on the 18th century project, so I probably wouldn't have had time, anyways, to make something. But, um, I'm basically just gonna wear my 18th century project, but I, um, I need to, you know, do some stuff, so, um, I am going to gather this neckline a little bit because, um, it's way too large and it bothers me, and maybe it's meant to be that way, but I personally can't stand it, uh, honestly, and I did try to gather it before, but the thread ripped, so I'm gonna make it much more secure so it's Saturday I don't know if I mentioned that but I haven't gotten any of my uh, short jacket done or anything related to that but my Berlin Trowbridge order that I purchased came so now I have this red thread 
which should it's not gonna be a perfect match sadly on the image it looked like it was gonna match much closer than it actually does in real life but I'm gonna use this I feel like it'll stand out less than the white or maybe it won't I have no idea I'm gonna use it anyways because I bought it so and I'm not I'm, I'm just gonna do it I'm not gonna care I'm not gonna like basically I'm not gonna sit there and make it take much longer than it needs to take I'm gonna try to do it as quick as I can because I actually want to see it's midnight right now or past midnight but I want to see how much I can get done of the edges tonight I just want to play around um, and try to do as many of the edges as I can do because I have this crazy thought that if I can somehow miraculously get all of the edges done on this thing that I could wear it tomorrow. I don't think that's actually going to happen but I am going to see if I can attempt to make it happen. I want to show you my other thing that I bought from Burnley Atrobic. It's one of their scarves. I've never bought one of their scarves but I've always looked at their scarves and been like these are all so beautiful and I want one. And I finally bought one decided to buy one for this 18th century project um so now i essentially can use it as a fish shoe and i'll have essentially two different fish shoes because i'm going to be making one so this is the scarf in question it's obviously a square i have it folded in half of the triangle but like i can use this for all kinds of stuff as well just a head scarf you know as a fish shoe like that kind of thing all kinds of different stuff but it's just this like brown with red um like square design on it i just thought this was a really nice color palette and i thought it went nicely with my project the red ties in with all the different red in my project and the brown is just a nice neutral color that can match a lot of things so i'm very excited because this is a very nice scarf too okay so I thought I'd give you a quick update. I got the first, uh, wherever it is. What? Oh, here we go. I got the first side hemmed. This is the front, the front bit. I don't know how well you can see that, but you can totally see the stitches. But I don't care because from a distance, you can see something, but you can't really see the color of it. You can just kind of see that there's like, you know, indentations or something there. But you can only really, even when you look up close, it's kind of hard to see the actual thread. You can just kind of see like, it's showing up really well on camera for some reason. But in real life, it's kind of hard to see. It just looks like there's a bunch of like, uh, dots or something there that, just blend in with the thing. Hello y'all. It's officially Easter Sunday and I've officially made this wearable. How does it look? This is my Easter Sunday outfit. I have everything on except the stays. I decided I wasn't going to wear the stays today because I'm going to be eating a lot of food and I, I just feel like today is not a good day to try and wear the stays. So I'm not wearing the stage, but I'm wearing everything else. And I almost completely finished the short jacket. I hemmed all of the edges. I finished it at like 8 something this morning. And then I realized when I was putting it on that I forgot to hem the sleeves. So what I actually did was I rolled up the sleeves and I just tacked it down in one part. So hopefully it won't get too unraveled. But for the most part, the sleeves aren't technically hemmed, but they're rolled up, you can't see it. But this is the final outfit. I actually, like, am really surprised. As soon as I put the short jacket on, I was like, um, this actually legitimately looks cool. It looks like an 18th century outfit. And, like, this looks legit instead of just looking like, you know, it's different when you're just wearing the petticoats. But once you got the short jacket, you're like, wow, this is lit, man. I love this. I'm really excited. I'm glad that this turned out. Hey guys, it's officially the end of Easter Sunday. It's currently like 10 or nearly 11 o'clock. 
I thought I'd give you an update on how the outfit went throughout the day and all of that just because it was fun to wear this all day. So basically here are my thoughts and kind of the, re the reason I would tell you this is because you'll see by my thoughts I suppose but basically I wore the um, short jacket and this handkerchief or fichu replacement that I got off of Brandon and Trevor with my Trinity Knot hair thing. I used it as a scarf holder thing. And obviously my wool petticoat. And I have my cotton petticoat. And my linen shift. And that's what I'm wearing. And my pocket. Which is in here somewhere. I don't know if you can see this, but that's the pocket. And then I also wore my stockings. These brown stockings came from the rendezvous last year and then my 18th century shoes. And I've been wearing these all day since 10 or earlier this morning. 9 or 10 something this morning. Haven't took them off once, although I was tempted at one point. Um, and I want to give you my updates on how I feel. First off, I'm not wearing this day, so the clothes are perfectly fine. I feel 100% fine as I would in any clothing. Um, I will say that I was sweating at one point today, like I was dying of hotness, but that's because of the thing that I was doing. I was washing dishes, it was stuffy in my kitchen, it was super hot and sweaty in the kitchen. It wasn't because of the clothes I was wearing. And also, my feet are dying right now. They were fine for most of the day, except for when I was standing there doing dishes for two and a half hours or however long that was. It was definitely at least two hours. I believe I started washing dishes at two something and I finished at four, so, so you know, it might have been before two. I don't know the exact time, but it was around two and I know for a fact that I ended at four. So, I was standing in these shoes washing dishes for that period of time, and my feet definitely felt that. Um, I think it was just because I was standing there, but also possibly because of these shoes, I don't really know. But, um, they're kind of tired of being in these shoes now, but for the most part, for throughout the day, it was perfectly fine. Like I said, when I was doing dishes, my feet hurt, but then I sat down for a while and after that, it was pretty fine, and now they just kind of hurt that I may take them off because it's the end of the day, you know. But for the most part, they worked out really nicely, they look amazing, and I was perfectly fine in everything I wore today. Hey guys, I finished this last night. Um, actually, I finished the neckline last night. I guess I still have to, uh, do the sleeves. Last night, I was like, oh, I finished it! Um, but I completely forgot that I still had to hem the sleeves. So I guess I should do that real quick. Um, I'm debating if I should just, I think I'm just going to hem the sleeves the way I did everything else. Um, in my other short jacket, I just folded the sleeves and um, up and then I just tacked down one section of it down. I'm actually going to need to properly tack the folded sleeve down. But for this one, I'm just going to keep this length and just do like a hem. And then if I want to fold it up, I can fold it up. But then I also have the option of having it longer. That is it for this short jacket video. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, feel free to like, subscribe, comment down below, all of that. Um, I hope this was in some way helpful because I know for me personally, I was looking up on YouTube short jacket how to make a short jacket and all of this stuff and literally there's like maybe one or two videos where someone is making a short jacket and yeah that's the lights going on and off I don't know what's happening with our electric but it's going on and off so <laughs> yay <laughs> it's off that's wonderful excuse the horrible lighting and the flashing lights but basically it was really hard for me to find anywhere in the slightest that 
was making a short jacket or if they made something similar to a short jacket they weren't calling it a short jacket and all of this stuff so yeah basically i could hardly find any videos where they were making a short jacket and when they did it wasn't quite the same as mine there were all people and most people stupidly enough most people that make 18th century ensembles are making these like gowns and like robe la France and all of these other 18th century like higher class ensembles whereas I'm trying to make a working woman's attire basically I don't see a lot of working women's attire for the 18th century being made on the internet or at least being made where they're showing you what to do and how they did it and all that type of thing it's just like I don't see it very much. I see a lot of people making working women's attire in like the 19th century and other things, but in the 18th century it's just all like the fancy stuff or at least just like gowns and things rather than like a petticoat and a short jacket and stuff like that. And I, if you're into books, check out my other channel I'll link below. I will see you in the next one. Hope this inspired you to go into your own sewing rooms. Bye.